everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you an inspired look by the Pretty Little Liars characters and I'm just going to show you a complete makeup look of all of them put together and a hair look of all of them put together and here's what the makeup looks like and the hair and then I'm also going to be showing you each of their individual styles so if you want to learn how to get their look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I have one eye done and one eye not. I've noticed that all the Pretty Little Liars characters mainly wear brown and bronzy colors as their eyeshadow, so I'm just going to use Burnished by Bobbi Brown. Take that and rub it all over my eye. And I'm going to go all the way over to this side of my eye. And then at the end of my eye, I'm going to come out. I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush from Bare Minerals, and I'm going to go into Polyester Bride by Urban Decay. Tap off the excess and then I'm going to apply that all on top of my eye. So after I've applied that I'm going to go into Chopper by Urban Decay and I'm going to take my brush again and I'm just going to blend that in with both of the colors. And that just creates this very goldish bronzy neutral color. I've noticed that all the characters on Pretty Little Liars all wear a white eyeliner at the bottom of their eye and that just makes your eye look a lot bigger, especially on Aria. And so I'm just going to go back into Polyester Bread and I'm going to take my eyeliner brush and I'm just going to apply that to the bottom of my eye. applied my white eyeliner I'm going to take my black covergirl pencil eyeliner and I'm just going to apply a really thin strip under the white I'm also going to apply a very thin strip to the top of my eye After that, I noticed that all the characters have really dramatic lashes, so they're probably fake. So I'm just going to use my Falsies Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline, since I do not have fake lashes at the moment. And I'm just going to apply this into the lower. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Moving on to my face makeup, I'm go just going to apply my bronzer by Jane. It's Be Pure Mineral Oil Free Bronzer. And I'm just going to take my brush by Sarah Ashton and I'm going to apply this all over my face. Now for the cheeks, I've noticed that they all have very highlighted cheeks, so I'm just going to take my All Over Color Stick by e.l.f. and I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. I'm also going to take my Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush Coffee Cake number 60 and it looks like this. I'm just going to get a little bit on my hand, rub it on my hand and take my brush again and just apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Moving on to the lips, they all have very neutral colors on their lips so I'm just going to use this really pale color and apply it right to my lips. Okay, so that is the completed look for the makeup. Okay, so now moving on to the hair, I've noticed that all of the characters always have curled hair, but they're mostly loose curls. They're not like really curled. So I'm going to be using my Gold and Hot Curling Iron, and this works really good if you want really loose, wavy. First I'm just going to apply my heat protectant spray and I'm going to be using my Ion Straight Heat Protectant Anti-Frizz Solution Spray and I'm just going to spray this all over. Okay, so after I've applied my heat protectant spray, I'm just going to half my hair up. This is just to make sure that you get all the hair. So I'm just going to take about this much hair and I'm going to take my curling iron and I'm just going to clamp it down and then I'm going to go down to about half my hair and I'm going to hold on to this loose piece because this curling iron is really loose so it does fall out a lot and I'm just going to hold it for about five seconds and I'm just going to let it go and as you can see it creates this 
really loose, wavy curls, and it's really pretty. The rest of my hair. After I'm done with the bottom part of my hair, here's what it looks like, and as you can see, it just creates these really loose curls. So I'm just going to take my Pantene hairspray, and I'm just going to spray this a little bit just to make sure it holds. I'm going to do the top part of my hair, so I'm just going to take it down, and I'm just going to do the same thing. Just take it, clamp it, and then wrap it. And once again, make sure you hold the end because it does make it curl a lot easier and it does fall out really easy. I'm just going to finish curling the top part of my hair. my hairspray again and I'm going to take it like this and I'm just going to spray it as the hair falls down. And this gives it a lot more volume and the characters on Pretty Little Liars do have a lot of volume in their hair. So as you can see it gave it a lot more volume. Okay, so now that I'm finished curling my hair, here's what it looks like. I just think it looks so pretty and wavy, and I think this looks a lot like the characters. So now moving on to the fashion, I'm going to be showing you how each character dresses. Okay, so this is my look for Hannah, and I got this look off of one of her pictures that I found online. And I'm just wearing a classic black tank top with a tutu because in the picture it does look like she's wearing a tutu but I'm not sure if she is. It may just be a skirt but it definitely looks like one so this is the closest thing I could find. And then I'm just wearing a black belt just to make the outfit pop out a little bit more. For my shoes I'm just wearing black sparkly heels because Hannah does wear heels a lot and they just look like this. They're really pretty. I'm wearing this really pretty sparkly bracelet that I found at Forever 21 and Hannah does wear really big bracelets on her right wrist and this is the closest thing I could find. For my earrings I'm just wearing these sparkly dangly earrings that look similar to Okay, so this is my Aria Montgomery outfit, probably my favorite one. I just think she has the most creative look out of all the characters. I'm just going to tell you everything that I'm wearing. For my shirt, I am wearing just a regular striped tank top from Wet Seal. Skirt, I'm wearing a black pencil skirt from Forever 21. Then on my legs, I'm just wearing normal fishnet stockings where you can get anywhere. And for my shoes, I'm just wearing black ankle boots. Earrings. Aria usually wears a huge feather earring, but I don't have those at the moment, so I just put on black hoop earrings. For my necklace, this is just a pearled necklace. For my fingers, I'm just wearing a silver ring. On my wrist, I just have this dangly cheetah bracelet.
So this is my Emily Fields inspired book and it's very plain and that's why I really love it because she doesn't really wear a lot of fancy stuff. It reminds me a lot of Emily because she dresses very casual and she doesn't wear as much like fancy skirts and dresses as much as the other characters do. I'm just going to show you what I'm wearing. For my shirt, this is just a plain black button up tank top from American Eagle. And then this is just a plain belt from also from American Eagle. For my pants, these are just plain blue jean shorts from PacSun. And then my shoes, I'm just wearing sneakers, which is mainly what she wears. And on my wrist, I'm just That is the complete look for all the characters. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.